But first here at 6 o'clock, gun theft, a growing problem across the country and right here in the metro. Many of those stolen wep weapons are recovered at crime scenes. For in Action News, investigator Andy Alcock spent months digging into this problem. Andy, what would you find? Mike and Rhiannon, and 41 Action News and more than a dozen NBC stations across the country teamed up with a nonprofit journalism organization, The Trace. After reviewing over 800,000 law enforcement records nationwide, we took a closer look at some of the cases here at home. Isaiah Clinton and Richard Hampton are currently in custody on federal gun charges, accused of selling stolen weapons to an ATF source. Before their arrest, court records state the two men were involved in an ongoing shooting dispute. A KCPD source says Hampton shot a man on Troost Avenue near Mannheim Road September 10th. Retaliatory gunfire erupted the next day at the home of Hampton's family. 21 shell casings of various calibers were recovered. Two weeks later, a gun battle erupted at a club at Troost and 86th. Police recovered 70 shell casings of various calibers. Officers took Clinton into custody at the scene. We see guns sometimes going for double and triple in price uh, when the element that can't get their hands on guns legally goes after them. Over the last few years, there have been seven guns reported stolen in KCK, 12 in Olathe, 201 in Topeka, and 130 in KCMO. Those numbers only reflect guns reported to law enforcement. According to ATF, there's also been a noticeable increase in thefts from licensed federal firearms or FFL dealers and an increase in the number of guns stolen in those thefts. There are more than 500 FFL dealers in the metro alone. How hot a commodity are guns? These South Carolina burglars used a blowtorch to break into a gun shop there. Burglars also took the door off Show Me Shooter's indoor range in Clay Como. They were caught a couple days later with seven stolen guns. The range now has concrete blocks in front of the windows to prevent someone from driving a car into the store to steal guns. We try to eliminate any place that anybody could break in because they'll try it. Our investigation also revealed police are able to recover many stolen guns not used in other crimes. An example, a 357 Magnum stolen in a burglary in California was sold to a dealer in Arizona. An Olathe man bought the gun online. Police were able to recover the gun and return it to its rightful owner. The majority of the time that we find a, a stolen gun, it's on a traffic stop. It's, it's when we make an arrest of an individual after, uh, without that gun being involved, thankfully. Now, one of the cases we looked into may provide a promising lead in the unsolved murder of a child. We look into that case and dig deeper into the number of stolen and recovered gun cases affecting our area tonight on 41 Action News at 10. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. Look